my permanent friends. How the heck are you? Happy Wednesday to you. Happy Wednesday morning. Hope your week is going well. Hope you had a great weekend. It's been a while, but I tell you what, we're back. We are back on the old stream farm. Things seem to be working. We got our work. The circle of death I have conquered. The save game circle of death. But anyways, everything is kind of um, working like a charm so far, so that's good. However, I did make a boo-boo. I made a big boo-boo. And I still don't understand how I made that boo as I pull under here at um, New Walls. Feed and seed. Uh, I'm going to fill this up with seed is what I'm going to do. Um, as that field, I'll show you. Down there at our second location that I bought across the street, I put those two tanks in there. And I was thinking to myself, and I said, self, I know, I, holy fuck, it's 12869 bucks. But I did some math because um, New Wall, the president and CEO of uh, New Wall Feed and Seed, sent me a letter that apologizes for my difficulties with the cost but he assured me that the more I complain and the more I cause a stink it's gonna be worse for me <laughs> so I did some math and actually it's cheaper than uh, the standard in-game pallets so I'm just gonna go with it but I got that up with seed so anyways so the two liquid containers I have one of um, liquid fertilizer and one of herbicide down there I could have swore man I did some testing on them and everything and I, I could fill them up but apparently I'm having trouble all of a sudden now. So if anybody has any answers, let me know. I appreciate that. But we did buy 8,500 liters of liquid fertilizer, which we're going to use right off the bat. So I'm going to keep that into the tank. And then, of course, we I did get some seeds. So I'm going to go put this into the seed silo down at the farm. Now, we have a big day planned. We have a oh, huge day. Absolutely just a huge day. Um, here's what I'm thinking. After I get some seed and fertilizer, I'm going to start um, fertilizing some fields because... We're still not, you know, soil temperatures are still in the nippy side. We're at 37 degrees soil temperature. But I'm going to get them ready to go. And we do have the four fields. We have our four ro crop rotations set up. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I'm going to start that. Sophie is going to do that. Now, I also did, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat. Go this way. No cars coming. Yeah, you just kind of got to run for it. Um, anyways, but uh, what was I saying now? No, I, I'm so, I got so much going on here. I, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, our four crop rotation. So we do have, uh, let's just take a look at that real quick. Like I said, we have a four crop rotation. Oats, soybeans, corn, barley. Now, we had oats and corn in the two fields by the farm here. So they are going to be soybeans and bar. No, let's see, we had oats. So it'd be barley and... Let's see, we had corn. So that corn field, the big one here to my right, is going to be barley. And then the other one was oats. That's going to be soybeans. Okay, so that makes sense. And then across the uh, way there will be oats and corn. Okay, that's right. Yeah, because our four our four field, so four, four, th two, three, four, which is one field, that is going to be barley because it was corn last year. And five and seven was oats, so that's going to be soybeans. And then we can divvy this up. One, eight can be corn maybe. 9, 10, 11 can be um, oats. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Ah, perfect. I got to figure it out. I got to figure it out. Now, we do have this field that Newall is going to um, lease to us. We can do something with that, too. So I don't know. We can, I don't know, if we add a fifth crop into our rotation? Maybe. I, I don't know. But uh, we can maybe figure that out too later on. See, I'm going to cut through the old car wash. So we're going to get these silos loaded. And then, um, well, let's talk about the pigs. I, I was checking out the pigs. I gotta go outside here to do this now. We've got three of them. So I think we're gonna use urea, which is a dry fertilizer the most. We'll just put that in the big one. And then um, lime and seed. I think the seed we'll probably use the least of. So that silo holds 15,000 liters of seed. And this trailer holds 13,000 liters. So I'm thinking we'll just put the seed in the small one because it'll empty the whole trailer here. Come on, you're going to work right. There you go. So we'll dump, we'll dump the seed into there. And then I'm going to go back and get a trailer load of urea, dry nitrogen, um, and put that into the big one. And then I'm going to start getting the backpack sprayer because I just bought 8,500 liters of liquid fertilizer for crying out loud. We might as well use it. And then I can start that, and then Sophie can take over for me because I am going to hit the road. Uh, Zeke and Street up at the dealership is uh, bringing me down a semi and a cattle trailer that I am going to look out, chickens. Coming through, chickens! That I'm going to lease and sell some pigs. And then I'm going to head over to a neighboring village. A little bit of a jaunt. 
and I'm gonna pick up some cattle from their uh, dairy cattle operation they have. It's a, it's a big conglomerate kind of thing, you know, and uh, go with that. I think we're gonna start with some cattle. I think we're gonna get some cattle underway. We've got pigs. We don't have any sheep yet, but you know, this is kind of a nice big cattle, cattle farm that we can have here. So I'm gonna pick up some cattle. It'll be good to go in that department. And then maybe tomorrow, the third, whoa, I almost went by. The third day of spring, we can work on getting some stuff planted. I was thinking maybe yet today, but maybe by tomorrow, the uh, soil temperatures will rise a little bit. We'll look at the forecast here as I put some fertilizer here. And this is also gonna be very expensive. But like I said, I did the math. It's actually not that, it's actually cheaper. Um, so you can't go wrong with that. Let's see, I want fertilizer. There you go. We'll fill that up. That's going to be another big chunk of change. Holy buckets, man. I'm spending money like crazy uh, on seed and fertilizer. Holy shnikes. 22 <laughs> That was more than I was expecting. Oh, man. I, I can't complain, though. Uh, Newell will send me another letter. Anyways. Uh, okay. There's 13,000 liters of fertilizer. We'll go put that in our fertilizer silo. It'll be good to go in that department. And then... Um, Zika Sweep will bring down the truck and cattle trailer for me because I, I was saying this twice now. I totally distracted myself. Uh, we have a hundred pigs on the farm. Now, I'm not so sure how we got a hundred pigs, but that's what we had. A hundred pigs, so they must be breeding like pigs and rabbit pigs. So I'm thinking we're going to sell some, go down to a feasible number and try to breed some up again because I was looking at them. We have a mixture of pigs. Uh, we have expensive pigs and we have cheap pigs. So I don't know if we sell the expensive ones, keep the cheap ones and let them grow and get fat and see how, how well they do as far as um, multiplying and breeding. But I'm kind of curious to see on that because uh, we had the original bacon, or no, weeder, I'm sorry, weeder, bacon's a dog. Weeder the pig, and then we got a bunch more and things just kind of took up from there. So, um, okay, I should get a unload icon. On. Anytime now. There we go. Unload that fertilizer. So, 8,500 liters of liquid fertilizer there. We got 13,000 liters of seed and 13,000 liters a year. I think we're set up pretty good. Because um, I, I did have a plan of, of um, buying herbicide and, and liquid fertilizer and putting those two storage tanks over there, but I couldn't get to work again. I could have swore I had it working. I really could have swore I had it working, but if, if I didn't, I didn't. So, with that said, let's see, should we do a fifth crop? What should we do then? Because if we have that wonder field to lease, we could do a fifth one here. Um, wheat, barley, oats, I don't want to, no, no cotton. We could do a canola field. Um, that kind of actually helps out there a little bit. Sunflowers, soybeans, corn. I don't, I don't know if we want to do a root crop. I mean, we have pigs. We could do a root crop, but then that means having all that root crop equipment, and that gets expensive. That's ooh, look at that sugar beet. Um, boy, does that really change the uh, numbers up there? Well, actually, uh, soybeans, canola. But no, we don't need a root crop for, for pigs anymore, do we? With seasons, let's do canola. Let's do some canola in there, because yeah, you don't need uh, root crop anymore uh, with pigs, because we do have a hundred pigs. Let's look at them real quick. Um, and we're maxed out, so the pen is full. Yeah, you don't need... Yeah, I like that idea. No more stupid root crop. Um, so we do have... Let's just cut through here. Here, bacon, bacon. So we do have 100 pigs here on the farm, and uh, we have a mixture of stuff. We have 100 pigs. We have some Yorkshire, and then we have... So we have some other stuff here, too. Let me just zoom down here real quick. Um, some Gloucestershire. And then we have some spotted. So the spotted are worth five forty-five a piece. The Gloucestershire are worth two hundred five a piece, and the Yorkshire was six eighty-one. So I don't know if we sell a combination between the Yorkshire and the spotted. I, I just don't know. I, I I don't know. It's gonna kind of be an experiment thing, but it is what it is. Um, okay. So what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, let's get the uh, Deutz uh, with the backpack sprayer on there. Let's go fill this puppy up. And then we might as well go do the one right here because this is going to be barley. So we can start fertilizing that. And then, let's see, when can we plant canola? How far off are we from canola? And then the, um, 
one of the oat fields over there. Yeah, can, see, we're, we're good for canola, oat, and barley. But the soil temperatures are just on that little bit cool side. So we can figure it out. We can figure it out, my friends. Anyways, I hope you're having a wonderful um, week. I already said that, but I hope you're having a wonderful week again. Uh, it's good to be back to the old stream. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. It's, it, you know, it's, it's been a busy couple, um, a couple, three, four, five days here with uh, sugar beet harvest going on. Uh, it rained a lot, but then we got we got back into the thick of things. So that's kind of been, you know, it's, it's 14, 15 hour days. So it's really just kind of been taken by toll. But um, yeah, fill up. So we'll fill up this thing with liquid fertilizer. We'll go, we'll go apply that. And then I'll start going until um, Zika's tree comes down to the semi. And we'll get that um, loaded up. Let's get We'll get that loaded up with some pigs. I, I think he's bringing me, oh God, every time I see that same, I just, I just get paranoid, I freak out. I think, um, and he hasn't charged me yet for it either. So he's bringing the Wilson and we release this one so we can get um, 36 pigs in there. That's not too bad. We can get 36 pigs in there and then we'll hit the road and get, then we can buy, um, well, actually I should have, why didn't I get the, the AM-19? Oh, I, I screwed up there. I, I told him I wanted this Wilson Silver Star. But I could have got... Oh, no. Look at that. I can have 36 pigs in that one, but only 21 in that one. But I can have 14 cows. And, ah, so that's that's, good, that's what I did it for. Um, so we can sell 36 pigs, and then we can go and buy 12 cows. So that's like a pretty good deal. But um, let's see. That's, that's unloaded the truck. We can turn the truck off here. Oops. That's the tractor. I, I want to leave the tractor running. I want to get into the truck there. We'll go on the other side. There you go. We'll turn that off. And let's, um, let's up here, and we'll start liquid fertilizing this. 2,200 liters. So we've used uh, one-fourth of that tank. I think this is probably going to last a long time. I'm kind of curious to see how many, um, how many acres we can do on one, uh, one spread, but we'll see. Well, let's see. Fertilizing is just one of those things where you just can't... Oh, crap. Pick it up there a little bit. I was hitting the ground. Whoa! That was a premature um, unfolding. That's what that was. Well, we'll just do a little headland here. Oh, crap. I'm all, I'm all screwed up. It's been a while. It, 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 it's been a while. It's been too long. And I get a little flustered. I get myself a little flustered. Come on. Whoa! Whoa, stop! Whoa, hold on. Wait, why do we have grass growing in our field? We have some grass growing in our field. Look at that. Grass. Get the plow back out. We gotta take care of that. That's just absolutely terrible. We got grass growing in our field. Actually, I suppose if we uh, planted it, it would um, come back anyways, wouldn't it? I think so. Oh, that's another thing we have to get. We have to talk to Zika Street about getting a uh, cedar. Yeah, we don't have a cedar. We have the fodder stead planter, but we don't have the. Um, the cedar, kind of, that's kind of a bummer. Crap. Um, oh well, oh, this is a bumpy field. But it's a nice big field. This is going to be a huge, huge barley field. Barley, right? Corn? No, oats. This is going to be oats. So actually, it's going to make sense for us is if we had this oats, we could probably get some horses. Um, maybe build a horse stall of some sort? I don't know. Hello, piggies. Whoa, crap. Come on. There we go. Let's just do it. Let's just do a straight shot here, and we can straighten out the field and go from there. But yeah, this is this will work. I mean, we don't have any we don't have any fertilizing state on any of these fields. Let's see. No. Yeah. So that would be the first fertilizing state on the, on any field. So if we did this one, and then we'll go over here and do nine, ten, eleven. That's one field now. Yeah, we can get that ready for our um, for our barley. It'll be pretty good to go there. Yeah, that that'll work out kind of nice. But we gotta get a cedar. And I think the one I want is not actually that expensive. Um, I probably could call Zeke right now and say, hey, you got to, what? Oops, crap. Uh, you got to get one figured out for me because like, I want one. So it's that, is it 12,000 bucks? I think let me get started up a year again. Um, and it'll be good to go in there. Good to go in that department. But anyways, let's see, what time is it? Uh, almost two o'clock. I, gotta, I should get on the road here shortly. I was hoping that this process would be a little bit faster and Sophie would show up 
But yeah, Sophie, she had a late night, you know, late night again. I tell you what, she's been um, more involved in that little little get up there that has taken her quite a long time to get up in the morning. I, she probably, she's probably just got out of bed, to be honest with you. I, I, I don't know for sure, but probably, oh yeah, oh, I was gonna show you, oh, wrong button. So I'm thinking for a cedar, why not go with, um, hold on, with this one, 6,000 bucks. It fertilizes and seeds at the same time, and we can plant all our small grains with that. I, I'm thinking that's what we're going to go with, 6,000 bucks. I mean, you can't you can't beat that with a stick, for crying out loud. But um, I'll continue on here for a little bit. Maybe Sophie will come out, and then we need to load up some pigs and get underway. But other than that, I think we're, I think we're pretty much set because we got the seed, we got fertilizer, both liquid and urea. Uh, our liming is all done, so we don't have to worry about liming at the moment, so I'm not going to spend money buying lime. Uh, that would kind of be a waste of money, especially since we don't um, we don't need to do any. So we should be ready to go for planting, except the cedar. We'll get that on, on order with Zeke. We'll be pretty to go there. And then, um, yeah, I, I think life is good. I think life is very good. But anyways, I'll carry on with this for a little bit, and then we'll get some pigs loaded up. And uh, we'll hit the road and get some cows. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful spring day. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, 205. 205, the second day of spring. Yep. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Hello, Biggin. Good pig. Yes, you're a good, outstanding pig. Zeke brought me down the Wilson Silver Star and the truck that I leased. Sophie is up there doing some spraying just over the hill. Oh, hey, there she is. How oh, you doing, Sophie? Yeah, she brought me a bacon sandwich. Speaking of bacon, she brought me a bacon sandwich and said, okay, I'm going to go and do some fertilizing. So she's going to finish up that field and then go on to 9, 11, 12, I think it is, uh, and get going there. Oh, you're going backwards, Sophie. Careful. You're Put your boom down a little bit there, honey. Anyways, so let's see if we can load up here with some pigs. I'm thinking... See, Yorkshire, we can, we can have, let's do 18 of these. One, two, three, four, well, we'll just, we'll just go down to 70, no, come on, yeah, 72. 72 plus 18 is 100. Okay, then we can do another 18, and we'll do 18 of the, um, right, maybe we don't even have 18 of the, the spot that we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty. Yeah, we'll, we'll do eighteen of them. Well, that's not. You know what? My math, my math is terrible. Seventy-two plus eighteen. <laughs> it's not a hundred. <laughs> Oh, crap. Um, man, I can't... Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I need to put 10 of these back. And then I gotta grab 10 of the spotted. What? Okay, let's uh, let's start over. Redo! The Wayne's World kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> now, I want... Because this thing holds 36. Oh, see, now I have... Uh, what? I have, okay, man, I, I totally foobarred the pig thing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I thought I could get thirty-six in there. Maybe, maybe that, that's where I'm all screwed up here. Um, because eighty-two plus eighteen is a hundred. I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that I actually really do know that. 36 pigs. I can put 36 pigs in there. So 18 plus 18 is 36. I'm not that dumb. So how come it keeps saying it's full? I don't have 36 in there. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, I only have 26 pigs in there. So, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Ta-da! 36 pigs in there. We can have, 
God, that took forever. Man, I feel like an idiot. I feel like an absolute idiot. Oh, boy. Shut the gate. Bye-bye, bacon. Okay. We are off like a herd of turtles. Now, uh, Sophie's going to be doing some fertilizing, so that's good. All the work is done here. The animals are okay. The pigs are okay. This is, I'm, I'm sure they're okay. We checked on them. The chickens, yeah, they're good. Good chickens. Nice chickens. And now our, um, our pigs. What? This animal menu sucks. I see. Yes, it does. Yeah, pigs are all good. Perfect pigs. Okay, so we're good to go in that department. Um, let's head. Let's see, which way should we go? Um, I'm kind of tempted to go to the back way to save traffic, but we'll go off this way. We'll go off this way. We'll go to the livestock market. We'll drop off these pigs. So that means now that we have um, 74, no, 60. Don't, don't, don't mind me. I, I, I grew up in Minnesota. We have what we call Minnesota math. Doesn't make any sense. This should be 64 pigs, right? Yes, 64 pigs. Okay, we have 64 pigs in there, so we still have room for 36 pigs. So I'm going to keep an eye on that and see how well they um, they multiply and uh, go from there. I, 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 you know, no sense having it maxed out. Then we can't have any... Uh, I'm sorry, bacon. You're going to go get butchered, but you're going to taste good. So uh, you're doing the world a favor. So yeah, so that's good. Okay, let's go up this way. Maybe we won't go up that way. Let's go up this way. Well, I gotta take down a bush there and, and continue that drive through through there because it gets to be kind of a, a sharp corner in there. Uh, bail business, I tell you what, I haven't really, I haven't had much um, inquiries about the bail business. I, I, people must be happy with their bails. I, I just don't know. Uh, I get that header cleaned out of my new garage there. Still, it's still a little irritated about those tanks. Greenhouses are good. They're making money every uh, every hour. So I'm happy about that. Ducks are happy. Hey, ducks. And uh, I tell you what, life on the old stream farm is is, is just um, a pleasurable, terrible driving experience. Uh, you know what? I've been, I've been driving a truck all day to, <laughs> to day to day. And then I come out here, I can't drive with the crap. I, everybody, everybody knows that I can't drive. Uh, not in the virtual world, that's for sure. So animal market is this way. And then I want to go... I'm going to cut through here. They like when I do this. Yeah, they, they really enjoy that. Um, they're nice people. Sorry, guys. I won't hit any cones or barriers this time, I promise. And then uh, right there is the animal dealer. Yep, you betcha. So we're going to pull into here. Now, the only reason that we're taking a little trip to get the cows is because we have got we got a good deal. Um, my, uh, my, my brothers, uh, Kofi and Patrick and Gunner up there, they, they kind of set this up for me to go pick up some cows over there. So they say, hey, it's a bargain deal. They have a big conglomerate of cows and you can get a, uh, a price. It's a little bit of a drive, but it's okay. Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind whatsoever. Big. This must be the animal market. There's a big uh, cow front. You betcha. So now how are we gonna do this? Well, they don't make this easy to back in here and sell, do they? No, they don't. I'm not expecting big money. Um, we'll pull up near next to the dumpster. And then we'll kind of get straightened out here a little bit and pull back. And I, I should have backed in here in the first place. What I should have done, but that's okay. I got to tell you a story. Uh, I posted a picture in the community pages. I don't, you know, some people are really good at community pages. I'm not really good. You know, I just have a few things here and there. But if you happen to see it, um, in my neck of the woods, the area growers, sugar bee growers, whoops, I'm going on the wrong side here, are demoing a, um, a hex, hex tracks. It's a self-propelled all-in-one beet harvester. Uh, go check out that picture. I took some videos of it, too, that I'm going to put together and uh, put out there, too, as well. So uh, check that out. It's, it's actually it's actually really darn cool. 820000 bucks. You wouldn't believe it. Absolutely crazy. Okay. Let's, um, no. Why can't? No. Why can't I get over to the trailer? going on here? How come I couldn't move the cursor over to the trailer? This is just, this has just been one of those moments where you, I, nothing is, I, I'm either, see, I can't get over there. There. Uh, I, I, the, the thing wouldn't go over there. Okay. Uh, we just want to move all these pigs. 
And let's just see how much money we get. Um, no, no, I don't want to buy another one. Twenty-two thousand ninety-three bucks. So, well, that's not too bad. Uh, maybe that'll be enough to buy cows. I think. Um, because we can haul, how many cows did I say we could haul in this puppy? We can haul, um, tw I, I like how they call it 12 pieces. Yes, I'm buying 12 pieces of cows. Uh, 12 cows. So I don't know if we can buy 12 cows for 20. No, it'll probably not be a little bit more. But we, we, we have that set up to go. So the pigs are unloaded. We sold some of them. So we got 64 pigs. Now, let's um, hit the road. Sophie is good. She can call me if she has any trouble. Let's hit the road. We'll head over there to that uh, conglomerate farm and we'll buy 12 I can't believe we can only get 12 cows in there you can get 36 pigs in here but you can only get 12 cows I mean I know a cow is bigger than a pig but come on a little more than 12 that looks like I can haul a lot more than 12 cows anyways um, once again we are off like a herd of turtles she has some little driving music that I should have a little bit of driving music I don't know my 8-track player is not working. There's not one in this truck. This truck's a little too fancy for me, for crying out loud. Let's see. I think we got to go. Yeah, we got to go this way. Look at this hum. You know, I have a, I have a habit of whistling uh, Christmas music in July. I, I, I do. I, Sophie says, what in the world are you doing? And all of a sudden, I'll just be in the car, and, and all of a sudden, I start whistling back the halls. Yeah, it, it's it really, it's a, it's, it's a curse. It is a curse. Come on, trailer. Make it around the corner. There you go. Look out, people, coming through town. Coming through town, get out, get off the road. Get off the road. Oh, bumpy, whoa, crap, wall. Bridge, I'm going too fast. All right, I've only had to stop and ask for directions 16 times, but not too shabby, I'm here. Let's see, I gotta make around the bend here. Around, oh, careful, around the bend. Around this bend. There's the dealership. Not too bad of a place. Not too bad of a place. Nice little countryside in here. I kind of like it. Um, maybe Sophie and I will have to do a weekend getaway here. That wouldn't be too shabby. Let's see, around this bend. Boy, the tight roads here. I'm driving this uh, man truck like it's uh, a, uh, what do they call those things? Monster trucks, you betcha. Oh, there it is over there. Nice place. They got cement trucks here too, for crying out loud. I tell you what, I should be in the cement business, but I should be in. I should be in the cement business. Whoa, careful there. Turn my turn signal on. I want to, I should have my lights on too for crying out loud. It's getting kind of dark outside. Um, yep, look out for the cement truck. Please don't turn left. Please don't turn left. Please don't turn left. Oh, good. He didn't turn left. I didn't hit me. Um, we'll pull in here to this grump. Never mind, I can't talk either. Conglomerate. Agra. I should look that up, the name of the business. Agra something. Agri something. Um, kind of a big operation here, though. But they got some small equipment, though, for being a big kind of operation. But let's see, the gate should be open, they told me. You come on in, you head back to the uh, cow, pan, cow uh, pen, and a guy named Hans will be there uh, waiting for me. So that's good news. I'll be waiting. Hey, how you doing? Guard check? Yeah, I'm kind of boarded up there. Let's see, which way do we go? Um, straight? I don't know. Oh, you lost around here. They can, they can do some cleaning up here, that's for sure, man. Do some, you know, uh, landscaping, maybe? <laughs> yeah, they have barriers around the trees, protected trees. That must be uh, something new. Let's see, go around here. I think I go around here. Kind of empty around here. Let's see. Go around the pegs. Man, this place is huge. Kind of, kind of desolate, though, don't you think? Um, oh, let's see. I think I wanted to go this way here. We'll cut this corner. Oh, they got some bales laying out here. Boy, I tell you what. Um, oh, let's see. Hey, there's the cows. Hey, cows. Find those any cows. Okay, we'll back into that gate there. I think. Really, all kinds of different cows. Uh, like I said, I, you know, I'm not much of a cow guy, but we're going to learn. I did read the uh, book Cows for Dummies, so I should be pretty good in that department. Let's see. We want to cut this thing this way. This is not going to be, yep. Good thing I got the backup beep. A little more. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Let's see, we'll back her up there. Whoa, crap. Okay. Why did you turn off? 
A truck, my truck died. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Look at that! I can actually back something up for crying out loud. Um, except that's not the gate. The gate's over here. Uh, never mind. Uh, my backing up skills suck. Um, <laughs> I backed up to there. Here, I thought that was the gate. Okay, start the truck up again. We'll, tr we'll uh, try to. Yeah, that was, that was terrible. Here, I thought I was so proud of myself that I backed up to the gate and I backed up to the wrong damn gate. Um, I can't see where the gate is. Here, I was thinking that was the gate. Let's see, where's the gate? I'm crying out loud. Truck, you keep dying. Um, there's the gate. Okay. Open up the gate. That's a small gate. Okay. Now I got it. Well, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna get close enough. These are smart cows. They just uh, they just go right in. They will just go right in, my friends. Hey, what'd you do today? Oh, I don't know. I just spent ten hours trying to back up to the gate. Um, there. That's good enough. Truck, you can die again there. Um, hey, that's not too bad. Okay, so what kind of cows we got? We got, um, let's see, we got some Holstein and some, I don't know. Let's take a look. We have some Holsteins and some Sailors. Boy, look at that. Holsteins are 1662, but I tell you what, they do the best milk production. We got some Sailors, and then um, I think actually they have some, is it Arshire? Arshire? I don't know how you say that. Ayrshire? I don't know. Um, boy, they got some more expensive. Uh, oh, limousine. I like limousines. Um, I'll tell you what, let's, let's see if we can get 12, let's get 6 Holsteins, because they, they'll produce some milk for us, 2, 3, 4, 5, no, what happened to the Holstein, move those back, I gotta find some more Holsteins here, I want some Holsteins, they're crying out loud, where are you Holsteins, uh, here they are, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, and we got 6 more we can put in there, so let's take six sailors. I don't know. They look kind of nice. Why not? One, two, three. No. Three of those. And let's take... Um, uh, wait. Let's take two of each. Okay, let's do that. Let's take... Um, we'll move you back. Sorry, 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 buddy. You're not going with us today. And then we'll take um, two limousines. I, you know... Whoops. What? What's going on here? One... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can get four more in there. Um, I, maybe, maybe you don't mix them up. I don't know. Uh, why? Why can't I? Why can't I move you? Okay. I'll tell you what. Th there's something going on here with this one. Okay, let's try. There's something going on with this thing. Why can't I move them? Um, okay. I want one, two, two of those. I want. Two of those and two limousines. Yeah, okay, I want six Holsteins though. One. What? The trailer is not full with four cows, man. Come on. Well, how do I have cows in there already? For crying out loud. Um. Okay, there's nothing in there. Conf I tell you what, not only do I suck, one, two, and <laughs> loading trailers and I suck at math, I suck at back it up. Two of those, um, I want six Holsteins, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two limos. Yeah, see, like I was saying, I don't know if you're supposed to mix these up or not. Um, there. We'll confirm that. Okay, now I should have... I should have 12 cows in there. Right? I should have 12 cows. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I got 12 cows. Okay. Now, I suppose I got to go in there and pay for these cows because they're not going to let me just run off with them. Um, so I better get my handy dandy calculator out here for crying out loud. I tell you what, this is getting to be a chore. This is getting to be a no, not not the calendar. I don't need my handy dandy cal calculator. So I have, oops, go back. 1854. I got two of those. I got two at 1094. 
And then I've got six at sixteen sixty six plus two at twenty one twenty six. Twenty thousand one hundred and forty four bucks. That's what I got. So that's not too bad. All right, paid for the cows, 20,144. Um, cows are bought. So actually we made, oops, oops. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, the gate moved the trigger a little bit. So actually we sold the pigs for what, 24? So basically it's kind of a, a um, good to go there. So we got, we got 12 cows. Let's um, head back to the old stream farm. It's probably gonna take us an hour. It's gonna be kind of dark when we get there. But we'll head back there. How do we get out of here now? This way. Uh, we'll head back to the old stream farm. Sophie and see how Sophie has done. And uh, we'll get these cows unloaded. And then I probably should take on this way. Oh, tree stump. And I get the cows unloaded. We'll give them some water. We'll give them some... I think that I think the truck just uh, tipped on its side there a little bit. Did you see that? Um, we're not going to go that way. Oh, crap, building. Um... Maybe we should just skip this part and uh, give the cows some some stuff it'll be good to go because i have straw i have hay i have water and uh, then we'll have to maybe work on some silage and get that taken care of and uh, we'll be we'll be good to go in that department but um yeah okay now my driving skills have really gone downhill uh trust me i am not you all you see me drive in the real world i am not this bad i i really i really am not um, I kind of fancy myself as a pretty, a pretty decent driver, to be honest with you. But let's see, let's get the heck out of here before anybody gets mad at me for hitting their buildings. Boy, Zeke is not going to give you the security deposit back on this rental, I'll tell you that much. Nope, he better not, he better not, uh, well, don't tell him, for one thing. But I hope he doesn't come out and do a uh, return in, whoa, crap, a return inspection on it. And see a little bit of scratches and some dents, because <laughs> that would be bad. How in the world did he get out of here? This place is crazy. Um, I'd certainly have to do some some fixing up if I had this place. I'm, I'm stuck again. Okie dokie. Well, I've had about enough of that as I can take. The sun has set, or is setting, in the process of setting here on the Old Street Fire. I made it back. I did. I tell you what, I, I, I think my driving's improved. Anyways, Sophie has just finished up over there doing that, so that is good news. Uh, here's what I was thinking, you know, we have different kinds of cows. So, and I, and I, you know, I totally forgot about this. We do have, let's make my meg light on here. We do have two different cow pastures. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going to put the Holsteins, the milk cows, in the milk cows. So I'm going to put the other ones in this pasture. And I got to be honest with you, I am using one little, little cheat thing, you know, it's called the animal pen extension. What it does is you can place water spigots and spouts. So I have done that. It just makes it easy um, for that. And I think, I, you know, it's part of that global company thing that's out there. Um, sad part is it's not available for council. But I am using that just for full disclosure. But anyways, I got this backed up in here. So let's hop in here. We got to open the gate. And we, hey, jump up and jump up, jump around. We are going to unload the two limousines, the two Irishires, the two sailors, and that's it. So we're gonna unload those cows and we're gonna place them into there. I'm gonna pull forward here and uh, get my lights on in the truck for crying out loud. So we should have six head of cows, six cows in here. Hello, there they are. Nice, I like it. And then um, we need to give them straw and hay. That's about all I can do, but in the meantime, Let's see, where is the spigot? I'm gonna give them some water, so at least they have water. There we go. So that should be filling up. Jump the fence right there, perfect. Okay, so, oh, I, I, get, I get so nervous. Um, so yeah, so straw, I think we'll probably have to blow in straw and then hay and silage, I can give them. Um, so the total mixed ration is going to be 100% effectiveness. The hay, silage, effectiveness 75, hay or silage. So all we have is hay until I get the silage um, taken care of, and then we can do some um, 
some total mix ration making. I could go buy some, but I don't really want to because I'm sure <laughs> that bit new old feed and seed is going to be spendy. So let's just jump into the lever here. We'll just take a quick gander because I think I'm going to have to, um, I am going to have to, uh, um, blow the straw in. But I do have some straw here. Let's just grab a bale if we can so conveniently. Um, let's go from here. Boy, I really didn't do a very good job here, did I? Look out, truck. Boy, Zeke, I don't want to bang your truck up again. I only want one bale. This, um... Well, tell you what, I guess I'll grab two. Okay, hey, I got one! I'm knocking them all over, but I got one. Um, we'll just give us a gander here and see if I can put this in there. I think I have to blow it. I really, really do, but, um... We'll see what happens here with the lever. I'm assuming that the straw... That looks like a slurry pit there. There's all kinds of... Hey, chicken, what are you doing over here? Get back to your place. I think I have to blow the straw in, to be honest with you. Um, I'm assuming that's where it's going to go. So... If that's the case, let's, um, oh crap, I hit my, hit my water pipe. Oh man, nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. <laughs> this thing really is a little bit difficult. I'm having all kinds of problems. Oh man, I'm gonna title this video, Bad Driving Extraordinaire. So, let's come back here. Now, I think I have, leave that run there for a second. Um, where is the loader? Flashlight. Oh, the warrior. There we go. Let's hop into the other Deutsch. Get some lights on there. Now, the straw blower should be over here. Three boxes of eggs. That's all I've gotten. Three boxes of eggs, for crying out loud. Um, you know what? I kind of, you know, nighttime. I think I think the seasons. Nighttime is um, pretty darn cool, and I like it. Let's see. How come our straw blower is not in there? Where is my straw blower? I have the straw blower. Where are you? Do we have any lights around here? I gotta get some floodlights around here. Is what I need to get. Let's see. Straw blower. I have a straw blower. I have the. Um, what do they call it? The guy wheel? The, the guy wheel? I lost my straw blower. Chicken, have you seen my straw blower? Ah, there it is. Okay, perfect. Found it. No worries. Found it. Yeah, I gotta get some lights around here. It's dark. It is dark in this yard. Sophie, we need to put some lights up. There we go. Whoa, I forgot my weight. I forgot my weight. I have a weight for this tracker, too, for this certain purpose. Oh, crap. Um, okay, we'll let you go. <laughs> oh, man. This is getting worse and worse and worse as the day is progressing. Check in, look out. I, I, I think I just need to go to bed and, and call her good and um, kind of go. Look out, chicken. Whoa, white chicken. Brown chicken. Look out. Coming through. Yeah, this has been a day... That we can uh, we can forget that's for sure. Hey, at least we got cows over crying out loud. We got some cows. I like I like cows. All about cows. You know what cows? Cows go move. Yes, they do. Cows go move. Um. Okay. Try this again. There. This should this should work a little bit better. Ah, perfect. Okay. We got a straw blower. We got that hooked up. Now, if I just bring this over here. Then I can grab the uh, payloader. I can put the straw bale in here, hopefully, without causing much of a problem. And then we will be um, good to go. So, let's just, whoa, crap, the tires are off the ground. Set that there. I'll have to unload some hay bales from the trailer because I have them on the trailer yet. And, um, oh, pre premature unload. Nope. Now this should be a little... Whoa, crap. What in the world is going on? Uh, 
Whoa, stop! I tell you, my, uh... Well, that didn't work. Why is everything so fast? I mean, my it's a sensitivity, that's probably what it is. How did they get so fast? It's jerky. I'll have to... Okay, stay down. I'll have to change that here just a little bit. But yeah, that's jerky all over the place. Now, I should... Look at that. Yep, there it is. Whoa! Going in the wrong way. Um, I'm going to blow it in there for crying out loud. Oh, hit the tree. Richard Dower is going to be wondering how many things I get. He's going to be counting. That's going to be bad. About 316 or something. There you go. Blow that straw bale in there. And then we'll take a gander and see. We only have six cows in there for crying out loud. We shouldn't need a whole bunch of straw. But at least we got them. Oh, yeah. See, look at that. They, um, perfect. They have water and straw. So that's good. And we still have all that bale left over. Okay. Now what I want to do. I can't pull straw in there yet. We don't have any cows. They have water, straw. Oop, they're in the tree again. Or the temper section is just terrible today. So, let's leave that there. Let's leave that there. I got equipment running all over the place here. Now, we got to get these other cows unloaded and get this back to uh, see. The night kind of uh, came on a little fast because I was maybe hoping to get a planter yet tonight, but uh, that's not going to happen. We will have to do that tomorrow. I'm going to cut these bushes down. I really am. Because that is just uh, a perfect driveway out. Now, if I pull up in here, now we'll check out my back and up skill. Oh, we're going to have chicken for dinner. I just killed one and two. Sorry, chickens. But you're not producing many eggs. Three boxes of eggs is all these chickens have produced. That is just terrible. Sophie, watch this back and up skills, Sophie. Uh, yeah, there's four, five, six chickens I just killed. Sophie, you could make a whole chicken soup and chicken roast and chicken whatever. And then we'll put these guys. Right in there. Did I confirm that? No, I didn't. Forgot that part. Okay, trailer's empty. The Holstein milk cows are in the uh, milk house. That's perfect. Oh, nine, ten chickens. Let's see. Turn that off. We don't need that anymore. Okay. So... Now, I'm assuming for the straw for this one, I gotta kinda blow it in there. But probably. Hey, hey, look at that, Holstein cow! How are ya? Oh, right in there, I suppose. Now, I can drive right through these. Oh, crap, I opened the door in my face. Is there a light in here? There's gotta be a light in here for crying out loud. I gotta, I gotta install some lights. Is that a light? Ah, perfect. Let there be light. Yeah, straw's gonna go in here, and then we'll get some hay. It'll be good to go. So, walk back in here to the Deutz and uh, blow some straw into there and then turn on the water spout for them. And then we have to get in. But the hay I can maybe do afterwards because I don't want to make this so painful that, yes, yeah, that. that was a stupid place to put manure right there, right in front of the door. I'm going to have to, you know, I think we talked about that too. Building a manure pit. Yeah some sort. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to empty this before that bale comes flying, <laughs> flying out of the thing. I might need another bale. But I still have 24, 23, 2200 liters of straw left. Yeah, look at that. I still have plenty of straw. And there. Oh, no. Oh, more. Yep, they're full. Now, pigs have straw, cows have straw, so I'm just going to leave this thing right here in the corner. Looks like a pretty good spot for it. You know what? In the meantime, I can leave the whole tractor right there. Perfect. All set up to go. Okie dokie. Now, actually, I could, um, act well, I got the payloader out here. We'll do that real quick. Well, no, I got to unload the, um, I have to unload the hay trailer. Oh, water. Turning the water on. Give them some water. That should be right back here somewhere. There you go. Fill up with the water. Got some grass in my water crop. I got a weed in my water crop. So that should be good for them. So, let's see, not too bad. So the cows are in. The cows got water and straw. I'll give them hay here now and just, oh crap, just a little bit. Welcome to Old Stream Farm, cow. You're a beautiful cow. Um, 
trying to think. What else? Yeah, hay. Um, like I said, the hay is on the uh, trailer over here, so I gotta unload that trailer to access my hay that I had, and then I can put that into the um, barn. But we should be good to go in that department. You betcha, we have cows. We've got, uh, yeah, see, once I get them 75% um, health, um, they don't have any, let's see, yeah, they don't have any hay yet. And then the other, there's the chickens. I, 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 I'm waiting for seasons to change this. This is just so stupid. Um, let's see, Holstein's what I want. Stay, the Holstein. See, it's so stupid. It's just dumb. You should not have to go through this whole list just to access stay. See, it won't stay. Um, yeah. Dumb. Dumb. Holstein. 80%. Yeah, so I got to get them hay, hay as well. But otherwise, we're pretty good to go. So I'm going to finish up that and call her a night. It's been one heck of a day. I got equipment laying all over the place. I've got, uh, we've got 12 cows on the farm, which is absolutely beautiful. When we make some more money, I'll, um, I'll have to get some more cows. The pigs are good. Maybe even add some sheep to the farm. We can we have a full service farm here. But uh, life is good anyways. I want to thank you for stopping in and watching today. I sincerely appreciate that. Hope you're having a great week. Uh, like I said, have a great Wednesday. Happy Wednesday morning to you. And um, we will see you next time here on the Old Stream Farm. Hi, Kyle. So long.